Hi guys, so today we're going to be making a PowerPoint. There are a bunch of different ones that you can choose from for styles. So I'm going to choose this rocket timeline. We're going to download it and it's going to open up. And so we see this timeline right here and this will be great for your social studies PBL that I have in order for y'all. So in these little boxes that you see right here, you can add in information about uh, events and dates that uh, were important and also uh, different people that played a role in these events. So if you wanted to add in the date at the top up here, you could totally do that and then add in your information down here. Just make sure that you title the top of the slide with what you're going to be labeling the whole page with so make sure that I know what you're talking about then on the next page you can put honestly whatever you want but I would really like to see y'all add in some either shapes up here that I use in the right hand corner over here uh, so make sure you add some of those in as well as adding in pictures so if you want to add in pictures go to insert up here uh, press the pictures and from either your computer that you've saved or that you have on your own. You can choose some stock images from the internet. That's totally fine as well. Whatever works, but make sure that you are putting some type of picture in here. We'll just take one off of online really quick. Say we're using doctors, but you'll be using whoever you're actually talking about from your famous event from say it was someone from the Battle of the Alamo. Uh, you'd put their picture right here, and then I want you to insert a text box as well from the right-hand corner at the top. So you'll take the text box, and you will just start typing in it. Delete all the information from in here, and then just add your information about the... Alamo and the important figure. So you'll just do something along these lines. Just make it look clean and professional. Uh, just ha had at least two to three pictures per slide. Uh, you are more than welcome to use more, but make sure that they are not overlapping. And if you want to add new slides, you're just going to go to the top left hand corner and press new slide. And you can also choose different layouts. Uh, the new layouts are next to uh, the reuse slides. So just click layout and it'll give you a bunch of different options. But for mine, since there's only two different ones that they have specifically for this layout, uh, that's all it's gonna show. So if yours has more, you are more than welcome to choose from the different options that they have, but these are the only ones that they do have for me. So if I wanted to add in a, another timeline of significant people, I can just add in their pictures up here where the little rockets are, and then add the information I want about them. So say that they were 20 years old, uh, served for 10 years in the army, just information like that. You can put in the little boxes and say, important figures at the Alamo and if you want to add a description of who they are these figures played a role in the battle of the Alamo you can put that right up there and that will be great make sure you also don't forget last thing just add in the first slide and then put uh, just what you're going to be talking about. So in this case, we're going to be talking about uh, important events from or that impacted Texas history. And then make sure you put by your name. So it'll look something like this. You can delete the top title and just make it look pretty. That's all I ask. Thanks, guys.